Australia is known far and wide for its plethora of deadly creatures. Deadly crocodiles patrol Australia's northern water systems, and dangerously venomous snakes populate the entire country. But it's not just the large animals that can be dangerous. Throughout Australia's eastern forests, there resides an animal renowned for its potent venom. An animal so small that perhaps it could fit in the palm of your hand, and yet could just as easily deliver a potentially life-threatening bite. If you haven't guessed it by now, I'm talking about the iconic Sydney funnel web spider. These arachnids are among some of the deadliest on Earth, equipped with a potent neurotoxic venom that is especially dangerous to us humans. While these spiders spend the vast majority of their life underground, once males mature, they leave the safety of their burrows to find a female. That's what I'm on the hunt for today. The male funnel webs are equipped with a particularly deadly cocktail of venom, even more potent than their female counterparts. I want to find out just how deadly these spiders truly are, and how likely they are to bite when encountered. How will we find this out? By getting up close and personal with one of Australia's deadliest invertebrates. Why would I want to do this? Because this is what I'm all about. My name is Jack, and I've dedicated my entire life to traveling all over the globe to find the strangest and deadliest creatures alive. I'm willing to get in close where others wouldn't dare in order to uncover and share the truth about even our most dangerous and misunderstood creatures. Many of these animals have a bad reputation that can only be remedied by people seeing their true nature and learning why these creatures are the way that they are. That's my mission for today. Is the Sydney funnel web spider's reputation truly well earned? Or has it been greatly exaggerated? Let's find out. So folks, this kind of like piney sort of forest floor this is a really kind of preferential sort of habitat for these funnel webs because they, even the smaller ones, can really easily kind of get up under stuff and start their lives. These are pretty sensitive spiders, even though they're pretty dangerous, uh, they're pretty fragile. So they need to be able to get underground quick and start making a big funnel web in order to hunt for food and survive. So that's why I'm here today, folks, because all this is basically telling me funnel web central. So let's get hiking around. I don't think we'll flip too much today. I'm really trying to like book it down this trail, hopefully to find a male funnel web on the crawl because that is what I'm after. Truly one of the deadliest spiders on earth, easily one of the most intimidating, infamous and dangerous spiders in all of Australia. So let's go. Now you may be wondering just why are Sydney funnel web spiders so dangerous to us humans? Well, it's actually a bit of a funny story. The Sydney funnel web spiders are actually most dangerous to primates. The male funnel webs have a deadly component in their venom known as robustoxin that wreaks havoc on the primate nervous system in particular. A bite can cause a plethora of effects such as nausea, dizziness, difficulty breathing, and yes, in rare cases, even death. Now, why have these spiders developed primate-specific properties in their venom when they're restricted to a continent without any native primates, I guess other than people? In truth, we do not know. These spiders evolved this volatile primate-killing venom countless millennia before the first indigenous humans arrived to the landmass of Australia, so it's unlikely to be a response to early human expansion into their range. We do know, however, that regardless of the origins of this venom, it is among some of the deadliest spider venom on Earth to us humans, and it is the males that possess this active component. The weather is on our side today, but it will take a keen and watchful eye to hopefully catch an adult male funnel web out on the prowl. So it looks like it kind of, there's a lot of shade, kind of some overhanging branches and stuff. Looks like a lot more of that kind of piney sort of forest up ahead. 
We've been here for hours. If you can't tell, I'm doing pretty good. This is a nice breathable shirt. I wish I had Jack Shorter Wildlife shirts like this, you know, have my logo and all my cool stuff on it. But I'm wearing one of these because I'm in the blistering Australian heat. It's warm, so I'm headed up towards the shade because I think that might be a better bet for these spiders. Like I said, they're fragile. They can dehydrate pretty quickly. He's not going to want to be running out on this uh, trail as we move further into the day. Um, and hopefully, it looks like good habitat. Maybe we're in for a surprise once we get up there, but uh, it's wild animals. It's nature. You never know. The venom of the Sydney funnelweb spider is incredibly potent. The robust toxin of the males, named after the scientific name of the Sydney funnelweb, Atrax robustus, is among one of the more volatile arachnid venoms on Earth to us humans. While no one has died since the development of antivenom some 40 plus years ago, these are still lethally dangerous spiders. Bites are said to be excruciatingly painful, causing cascading neurotoxic effects throughout the body. Without proper treatment, these bites could be life-threatening, especially in children or the elderly, in mere hours after envenomation occurs. It is important, should you be bitten, to seek medical attention immediately. While no one has died in over 40 years, you'd hate to be the first. After about an hour of searching this pristine forest, I finally spotted something I have traveled to Australia three separate times to see. We've got our male funnel web. There's no way. Hasn't seen me yet. Folks, that looks like a funnel web. And it's out. Which means, fingers crossed, it is indeed a mature male one of the most dangerous spiders in the world, far deadlier than their female counterparts. <laughs> Folks, that's exactly what this is. I can see the telltale Atrax robustus spurs that these males have on their front legs. He must be out looking for a girlfriend. Let's see if I can catch him without perturbing him. Now that he sees that he's out in the open, oh, oh. Ooh, okay, he's kind of calm, actually. I was expecting him to kind of rear up. Come here, come here. Oh. Oh. Folks, check this out. Easily one of the most dangerous spiders on Earth, a wandering male Sydney funnel web. Now these are drop for drop, one of the most potent spiders in all of Australia and potentially the deadliest spider here in most of New South Wales. Now, while they might be outcompeted by a few larger relatives, these lovely spiders here not only have an incredibly toxic venom, but a wonderful amount of venom that they can inject with every single bite. Now, this is easily one of the most dangerous spiders on Earth, but as you can see, this male was kind of fairly calm, which in my experience with Sydney funnel webs is a bit of uh, an interesting thing to come across. Typically, once they feel that they've been found, they are quick to try and defend themselves, rear up into that iconic Sydney funnel web pose. But this male, I don't know, maybe he's kind of in the last few weeks of his life, these adult males, you know, once they mature, they really only have one mission on their minds, which is to wander around to mate. So let's take a closer look at this beautiful, amazing Sydney funnel web, perhaps on my hand. Why don't you come in a little closer for this? Folks, this is one of the deadliest spiders in the world. How'd you like that? That'll get your heart beating a little bit. Let's try that one more time. Come on out, mate. Come on out. This is spectacular, folks. I've never even encountered a funnel web quite this calm. Oh, I gotta be careful though, folks. This is, this is a serious bite. And if I were to make the wrong move, take a big pinch from those fangs, I'd have to run myself up to the clinic 
and get some anti-venom. Now, I really have to be careful here. Although this male appears to be at the end of his long journey and is disinterested in being defensive, that could change in an instant. An accidental pinning of the leg or a quick startling movement could cause this arachnid to feel the need to defend itself. A bite here would not be good and could potentially ruin the rest of my trip here to Australia if I'm not careful. Luckily, spiders, even dangerously venomous ones, only become defensive in bite when they feel truly threatened. As long as I remain calm, I shouldn't find myself at the business end of this formidable spider. Have a go at that, folks. Have a go at that. Atrax robustus. Male Sydney funnel web. This is no joke. Of course, don't try and replicate this. I'm keeping a close eye on this spider, making sure he stays calm. So oh, cool. Look at this arachnid. Absolutely spectacular. This is my first time seeing a nice mature male like this. And luckily, he's kind of sweet. So it just goes to show you, even some of the deadliest spiders on earth, you know, we might think that they are intimidating or scary, but sometimes there's more to the picture. And when these animals don't feel threatened at all, you really find yourself outside of harm's way. Look at that. The male funnel web is the deadliest representative of the species for more than one reason. In addition to having that added component of robust toxin in their venom, it's the males that account for the complete number of fatalities from funnel web bites. Of course, their venom does play a crucial role, but much of the risk with these spiders is the likeliness of running into one. You see, it's only the males you see far from the safety of their subterranean burrows. It's the males that find their way into houses, bathrooms, and shoes left outside. No, they're not falling from the sky. They're simply enjoying their summer. In the warmer months, funnel-web spiders need to mate. The males, once mature, have to travel great distances on the hunt for females who stay in place. This means as we enjoy our pleasant spring and lovely summers, we need to be watchful for these potentially dangerous spiders doing the same. It's important to remember, though, these spiders are not out to get us. They are simply on a dangerous and lengthy reproductive pilgrimage. Although that defensive threat pose is quite shocking to see, it's often the only way these spiders can protect themselves from the barrage of predators that may want to make an easy snack of these juicy spiders. They aren't trying to hurt us with this lethal venom. They're just trying to survive long enough to pass on their genes before their short adult lifespan comes to an end. Now, one interesting thing about these beautiful spiders is that the males typically have a more toxic and more aggressive venom than their female counterparts. And perhaps a reason for this is that just like you saw, unlike having to flip countless logs and rocks to find this lovely spider, we found him out on the crawl, and that's pretty typical of males that have matured. Once they reach sexual maturity, they're on a countdown. They have to find a female before their lifespan runs out. And that's why this male is out on the crawl. He's looking for females. He's looking for a nest to crawl into, to breed. And that is his final thing that he needs to accomplish before he dies in order to be a successful funnel web. So we kind of caught this guy maybe on the way to a girlfriend's house, hopefully, in this beautiful little wood here. And that's why this guy might need an extra special dose of potent venom. With that extra venom, he can ward off potential predators and be able to safely get to a female in order to continue his species, which is his main goal and many species main goal as they move through life, simply to survive and to reproduce. So he's in the last little stretch of his lifespan. And so he's on a quick move to find a lovely girl to impregnate with his lovely love making material. <laughs> so just how deadly is the bite of the funnel web spider? 
Well, it sort of depends. While this particular male seemed to be laden with mites and at the end of his rope, the majority of these spiders are quick to defend themselves when threatened. And while no deaths have occurred in decades, these are still the deadliest spiders in all of Australia. The potent venom of the males accompanied by their close proximity to highly populated areas makes for a dangerous combination. If left untreated, it's likely a bite could become life-threatening, even for a healthy adult, which is incredibly impressive for such a small spider. Luckily, these spiders again live the vast majority of their lives deep underground, and aren't likely to bite unless you get too close. Be sure to give funnel webs a wide berth if you see one, and you should be completely out of harm's way. Okay, folks, I think we've had a fantastic time getting to learn a little bit more about truly one of the most dangerous spiders in the world, the Sydney funnel web. I couldn't have asked for a more cooperative and beautiful adult mature male here. The second I caught this one without it rearing up, without it showing any sort of defensive behavior, I thought, why not, folks? I've handled the wandering spider. Perhaps I will handle the Sicarius in the future. But for right now, when I find myself in Australia, I think I will handle the Sydney funnel web. Truly one of the most iconic and feared spiders in the country. But as you can see right here, folks, not too much of a spider to worry about. So we'll let this lovely male get on his way. Hopefully he will find a female to mate with and hopefully he will be successful in continuing his lineage and the lineage of many spiders like him in this beautiful little forest. So we thank our lovely friend and we'll put him on his way. And there he goes. But I just wanted to show you folks at home just how spectacular, just how cool, and just how fantastic the Sydney Funnel Web Spider really is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed getting out into the Australian bush with me and learning about uh, this fantastic little arachnid here. But that's all the time I've got for you today, folks. So uh, I hope that I was able to leave you with some fantastic fun facts about this lovely toxic spider here, and I hope that you had fun watching this video. So my friends, I hope I'll see you next week with the next upload, but until then, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>